In this video, I'm going to work through the formula for arc length so that you could calculate the arc length when given the radius and the central angle. All right, so first of all, um, your formula for arc length is going to be a capital S equals R theta. All right, here's a picture that represents it. I've got a circle. I have a central angle theta and a rate that circle has a radius r and this formula will then calculate the arc length. Okay, so capital S is arc length, r is radius, r theta has to be a central angle and you've got to have it in radian measures. So if you are working in trig um, and maybe they give it to the, the central angle in and degrees, then you are going to have to convert that degrees to radians because we need that central angle to be in radians. All right, and the other extra note is here, um, your arc length and your radius are going to be in the same unit, so if they tell you that the radius is, for example, in feet, then your arc length is also going to be in feet. Okay, so uh, for the first, uh, just one quick example because it's a pretty straightforward formula, find the arc length for the given radius and central angle. Okay, so I have a radius of 6 and my central angle is one-third radians, which is exactly what I need it to be in. So if we do just a direct substitution and plug into our formula. Okay, so S arc length is going to be equal to our radius, which is 6, times our theta, and theta on this case is one-third radians, so times one-third. Six times one-third, depending on how much math you need to do here, six over three, all right, is going to be two. All right, so then that means my arc length is going to be two feet. So let's do arc length is equal to two feet. Okay, so formula, after you memorize the formula and get used to what it is, and remember that your theta has to be a central angle and also has to be in radians, then it's a pretty straightforward formula, plug and chug. If for some reason they would give you arc length and your theta and ask you to find radius, you could do that as well because it's a plug and chug and then you just mathematically solve the equation for your unknown variable. So definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.